When you typically think about metals manufacturing, you think about these huge ladles of red hot molten metal and sparks flying everywhere and a billion dollar facility. And what you're looking at here is a metals manufacturing facility that's very low cost. In chapter one, we covered Maja Metal as a rewrite from a technology standpoint. In this chapter, we explore Maja Metal's rewrite of industrial manufacturing as they defy the limitations of materials at an industrial scale. Historically, talking about manufacturing is interesting because the manufacturing sector was really the last great kind of era of rewriting. In the 1850s, if you wanted to make an airplane out of aluminum, it would have cost you probably billions of dollars. It was very difficult to make, and the reason was there wasn't a manufacturing method. What we are doing is very similar to what Charles Martin Hall did for the industry of aluminum manufacturing in the turn of the century. An electrolytic manufacturing process that reduced the cost of making aluminum by 200 times. What Maja Metal's doing today is delivering nanolaminated alloys for industrial scale applications at a cost that can be competitive with conventional metals manufacturing. And that is the real breakthrough. A very, very different paradigm. It's gonna impact the entire world, including transportation, housing, how quickly we can innovate the building of new product and the environment. Imagine a world where buildings and bridges can last for centuries, where building materials are nearly infinite. So what we're looking at here is a production tubular and we're modulating the electric field, that's what these bus bars are, and we're growing metal on the surface of that, of that tubular as the tubular turns. It allows us to control the structure of a material as the material grows. We actually don't use heat. We're manufacturing metal in plastic tanks using electricity as the input form of energy. And the metals we produce are not like conventional metals. They are layered metals, and they're layered on the nanometer scale. We're gonna rewrite this industry across the board.